The practice game jam is finally started, and this year the jam is you are not alone. But if you don't know what is a game jam, it's basically a friendly competition where you have to make a game with a jam in a restricted period of time. In this case, 7 days. Because I live in Italy, when the game jam started, it was already evening. So basically, this first day, I start working at 7 p.m. The first thing we have to do is to set up the Trello board, so I can be more clear with what I have to do and be more productive. After that, I create a 2D project, and the first thing I have to do is this. Yeah, a square. And for now, this is basically the player. So let's give him a PP and try to make it able to move around the scene. Now my idea for the game is that basically there are two brothers that they are at home and they have to catch the ghosts that they spawn around the house. The two brothers have different abilities. For example, the main brother has a vacuum cleaner to suck in the ghost inside it, while the other brother has the ability to drive away the ghost with his toy pistol. So they are not alone because they are together defending the other one and they are not alone because there are a lot of ghosts inside their house. So this might be the idea for for the game but now we have just one character and it's just a square with a black pp so let's make the character more like a person and give him a brother like this now it's much better in the same day i don't remember why i disinstalled visual studio and i installed visual studio code and i discovered that i can change the dem of the program so i spent like one hour to choose my favorite and at least i came up with this dem and i don't know what do you think but i think it's pretty clean after choosing the dem of VS Code, I make the wind bullet of the toy pistol, so now we can keep away the ghosts. But the ghost doesn't exist already, so I have to create them. But uh, yeah, because it's very late, I am probably go sleep and return to work tomorrow. On the second day, I woke up at 9am and after make a breakfast, I start working on the game. After a few minutes, I finish the wind bullet and because yesterday I forgot to tidy my Trello board, I have to do this now. It's afternoon and after doing other stuff in my private life, I start making the sprites for the characters with Pixel Studio. This is the first one with the vacuum cleaner and this is the second one with the toy pistol. After that, I import them into Unity and yeah, the scene it looks actually pretty empty, so let's create some interior of the house, like a floor, walls, plants, tables, chairs, bed, lamp, and why not, also a carpet. And let's go, now we have a house with rooms. Then I also add a cinema machine for the characters, so now we can see where are we going. And after that I also place the walls and some other interior of the house. And finally also the post processing, to make an horror atmosphere. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's not scary at all, but uh, it's because, yeah, you know, there, are, there aren't ghosts yet. And I said we, because if you subscribe on my channel, all the things I do are also yours. So let's smash the subscribe button, gamer. So I make a ghost that is basically a square, and with the help of my mate, we add the sucking function for the vacuum cleaner. So we did it. Now we can suck in ghosts. I make also the attack animation for each character and I add this feature that when the wind bullet has been shooted, it increases its scale so it looks more like a wind. It's 11pm and I want to add one more feature to the character, so after thinking about for 20 minutes I figure out with this feature. You have noticed that? If you don't, uh, you are probably blind, but basically I implement that. When we use the vacuum cleaner to suck a ghost, this fastly shrinks while he goes toward the vacuum cleaner. And it makes the visual better, so yeah, cool. At least of the day, after an epilepsy moment, I tidy the Trello board. And after doing that, I go to sleep to recharge my energy for the next day. Wake up, it's the third day. The first thing I did in the third day is to add some tasks in the Trello board and write the things that I have done from the beginning of this jam to today. So I can make this devlog that you are watching right now more tidy. 
After that I wanna took some inspiration for the devlog so I watched some of those on YouTube. After lunch I went to the gym and when I get home I started working on some another sprite for the interior of the house. And I thought that instead of using a simple post processing to make a fake light, I could implement 2D lighting. Also to make a good shaders effect behind the walls and behind the interior of the house. After that with another help of my mate we made an enemy system for the ghost so now they can follow the characters. Probably I will add more than only one ghost maybe with different values like with more speed more damage or more health so i import this part of the first ghost setting up the animation and boom now we have our first ghost and it looks much better than before what do you think and it's all for today i don't work so much at the project but i had to do other stuff in my private life so yeah see you tomorrow As always, I wake up at the same hour. I study some English while during the breakfast and after that I go out with my bike to do a small job that I have to do to be able to buy the Tristam course by the way, because I'm a beginner and I'm still a shit in game development. After getting home I start working on a damage system. And I also add a knockback feature for the ghost when they've been eaten by the wind. And uh, yeah, it still looks weird the game, but hey, I spent like one hour to figure out how to do this on my own, so yeah. Then I also fix the enemy system with a better one, create a random position spawner for them, and I make the items rechargeable. So the player has to search around the map for charges vacuum cleaner to kill the ghost, and the same mechanic with the other character with the toy pistol. We have the battery power for charge the vacuum cleaner and the bullets for charge the toy pistol and yeah, I also make a UI for those things so now we can see if they are loaded or not. Now because I want to add new ghosts, I made this little guy, Jimmy. He's very fast but he does low damage and he has low health. And this bad thick boy grew, that is very big he is low but he does a lot of damage and he has a lot of health. Now let's try to play and see the new ghost in action. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think they are great. Now the last thing I want to add are two more collectibles, a shoe and a medikit. The shoe make you go fast. The medikit make your health go and yeah, now I'm probably go to sleep because I'm tired and I'm a little bit stressed, but yeah, you know, I think it's normal during a game jam, so yeah, good night. Today I wake up a little bit later and we have a lot of things to do. The plans for today are to do the score system, add 2D lighting, fix some bugs and add also some UI interfaces. So let's go to work. For my score system I just copy all the code from one of my previous game and add two tags, one for the actual score and one for the high score. Now there is the part that I hate so much and I'm talking about this the UI's interface. So for your entertainment I just keep at those and I show you directly the final results. And boom! Here we have all the menus that we want. Now as I said yesterday I wanted to implement 2D lighting but I don't really know how to do that. So... And yeah, cool! We have 2D shadows, baby, let's go! Seriously, I like so much the effect that they make behind the walls. It's very scenographic and I don't know, it, it's perfect. I like it so much. And I think for today we are done. So, see you tomorrow. As always, I wake up at the same hour, do a breakfast, tidy the trailer board and add at this a lot of things, like the outdoors but not wall cable and a little story at the beginning to tell why they were alone in the house. So I spent all the morning to make these scenes with a pixely comic style and put them into the game like an introduction. There is the button for the next scene and the button for skip all the scenes and go directly to the menu. And yeah, if you want to see all the scenes or play the game, go in the first link in the description, I'm waiting for you. But whatever, after make all the scenes and implement them into the game, I spent the entirely afternoon watching Danny's videos. And one day guys, one day, I promise you guys to be able to make videos like Danny. When the sun goes down and the developers wake up to work, I complete all the rooms in the house. Because if you don't remember, some parts of the house were still empty. So I had a basement, a toilet and a studio, but one more still empty. And probably 
still empty forever. Today is the day, the day to submit my shitty game. I woke up later than the other's day, maybe because it's raining or maybe because yesterday I went to the bed at 1 a.m. I don't know, but I know that there are the least things to do for the game. And those things are add sounds, export the game, create a page on itch.io and submit. First of all, I make some sound with BFXR and I search online for some ambiental arcade music for an horror them. And at least I find this music of Kevin McLeod. And uh, yeah, thank you Kevin, very cool. So after a few minutes of scripting, we have sound and we have music. Then I put the credits in the menu screen because I was too lazy to make a dedicated scene. And finally, I test the game and I export it for Mac, Windows and WebGL. Now it's time to make the game page on itch.io and make it look pretty epic. Adding screenshot and other personalized stuffs. And boom, we did it. Also, if the game it still remains full of bugs, this game is not full of bugs. It is the bug. But you know, it's a game jam, it doesn't matter if you are making a game for fun or just for learn something, it's it's good. I certainly didn't participate this jam to win but to learn new things. For example, now I know how to add 2D lighting or how to use the LARP function in Unity. Very useful by the way. So yes, it was fun but also some moments stressful too. But that is the point of the challenge, I think. Even if you didn't finish first or in a top 10 or 100, you still come out as a winner. Bye.